Wet snow is the hardest for us to shovel and snow blow, of course, but it's also tough on trees and wires, meaning plenty of power outages. And most of the nearly 9,000 people getting ready for work or school in the dark around the region this morning have their lights back on. But in Oswego County, a different story. That's because just under 2,000 customers are still without power there, and many of them are in Parish. That's where News Channel 9's Rob Hackford is live tonight. Rob, a rough day for so many up there. Yeah, Rod and Christy, a lot of families still don't have power right now, but they are getting it back slowly tonight. Jack, my photographer, and I actually spent most of our afternoon in this gas station. We're on Route 69, just off 81. They lost power twice while we were inside. They also lost it earlier this morning. It's been a lot of back and forth for almost everybody in the village of Parrish. And just down the road in the village, check this video out. This was the scene for much of the day. National grid crews were there where a utility pole had completely toppled over the snow weighing down those lines until failure. National grid crews were out there all day and had the road blocked off, but Parrish wasn't alone. Hastings, Central Square, and West Monroe also had plenty of down lines and trees. One that fell on a house. Thankfully, no one was hurt in that trailer park. Ladder trucks were parked along several roads with maintenance crews hoisted up in the blowing snow trying to get electricity back on. APW even canceled classes today because of the power outages. Well, that meant a full house for Larry Priest and his family. They haven't had power since early this morning. They still don't have it tonight. But around 1 o'clock today when we were there, their house was cold enough for this. Yeah, you can see your breath in here. So you know it's cold. Well, I woke up because I see my clock flashing, and I thought, oh, power went out in the night. So I uh, got up, turned the furnace on, and before I got back in bed, it went out for this long period of time. Yeah, and it is still out tonight. They're hoping to get that power back on soon. They, I just spoke with them a little while ago. They do have some repair trucks on their road, so hopefully as the night gets colder, they will get some warmth in their home, but we'll be checking in with them later, and we'll also be live at 6 o'clock for a couple other updates for you guys. Live in Parish, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9.